viewers hey subscribers and welcome back to my channel according empress tarot for those of you guys who are new to the channel just welcome aries this is going to be your mid-monthly energy check and this is in in regards to love and relationships so let's take a look at your little situation going on with your little boo thing aries and see what are the messages that spirit wants you to know first we're going to start out with some lovers oracles from the lovers oracle deck Okay, never mind the bites and the scratches on the box because y'all didn't had this deck for almost two years. Okay. It's been through some things. But we're gonna um get some messages from spirit and see what are the messages in regards to love. For those of you guys who are single, I will be doing a separate reading for you. Um, if the messages in here resonate with you, then great. If not, hey. Also, cross watchers, you may receive a message from this. I'm gonna start doing I'm going to start doing, hopefully, trying to do readings that either you're dealing with an Aries, but particularly, you know, the signs. But if you have a cross watch, if you are a cross watcher and you cross watch tarot, you may get a message from this as well. So keep that in mind. Also, um, if you don't have a nice comment or anything uplifting and positive to say, stay out of my DMs because you will get blocked. I have to say that because every video I have somebody that's got something smart to say. All right, so let's hop right in, you guys. Spirit Universe, what messages do you have for the sign of Aries, the sun, the rising, and Venus? Also, please check your natal chart, Aries. Like I said, it will not resonate with every single Aries. It will not. All right, so check your natal chart for the other placements. We have secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. So like I said earlier, some of you single Aries, somebody won't show ass. Aries, they want you bad. And if you're in a connection, because that's what this is mainly about, your person actually has deeper feelings for you than they're actually dis displaying. Some people struggle, you guys. Like, they're emotionally immature. Let me know down in the comments if this resonates with you and your person. But some people are emotionally mature and they don't really know how to express how they feel. We have acceptance is key. Inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So, Aries, I love y'all. But um, y'all got to go with the flow. Not allow your anger and trust issues to get in the way of a possibly really beautiful connection, you guys. Like, you got to you gotta let go. The, you got to let, let go a little bit, you know? Just let go and let God. Let it, let, just go with the flow, Aries. I mean, don't be, don't be naive, but go with the flow. You know what I mean? Like, don't try to mold somebody into being something that they're not. Don't try to, don't try to change them. If the person is ready to change, they're going to do it on their own. Also accept areas that people are not perfect. You know what I mean? Like none of us are perfect. We all have flaws. Learn how to deal with conflict in a healthy manner. All that damn rah-rah, screaming and hollering, arguing back and forth. It's just not going to get you anywhere. As a matter of fact, it just gets people more worked up and more pissed off. So if you have anger issues, Aries, or if you're a cross watcher dealing with an Aries, you really have to learn their style and their technique for dealing with confrontation or disagreements. Sometimes you have to be the bigger person and just, you know, not say, just wait until things cool down before you say something. But, but by all means, say what needs to be said. All right, Spirit, give me one more. Give me one more for Aries. Give me one more card. Oops. Oh, we have balance. I love this. I always love when Spirit gives this message because it's like, this is the law of the universe, balance. We have, love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great rel relationship is one that both supports and challenges, just like I said. Thank you, Spirit, for confirmation. You got to understand that your person is not perfect. You love them, but sometimes they're going to get on your nerves, Aries, period. That's for everybody. That's for all 12 zodiac signs. <clears throat> Cross watchers, Aries is not perfect. You got to understand these things. If you want if you want to date a fire sign, if you want a relationship with a fire sign, they do have temper problems. They're impatient. It just is what it is. All right.
It is what it is. I had to light a little Palo Santo, you guys. So that's what that is. All right. So Aries, I'm trying to get y'all a little reading done before I gotta get ready to go to work. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what is the lesson that Spirit wants you to learn in this connection? Well, we know one, that acceptance is key and balance for sure. But um, let's hop in and see what's the situation between y'all, Aries. That's what I wanna know. What's going on with Aries? Let's see. All right. All right, Spirit Universe, please show me the messages for the sign of Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what is going on with our Aries friends? What's going on with our little Aries friends, Spirit? What's going on with them? Y'all, I'm going to move this light, and I'm going to move this camera. So, y'all just bear with me here, because I, you know, it's hard out here in these streets, these filming streets. Okay, there we go. But Aries, y'all can still see what I'm doing, right? Of course you can. What's going on, Spirit? What's the energy between Aries and their person? Apologies, yes. Be humble, Aries. Be humble and apologize if you're wrong. But if you're not wrong, make sure you let them know that you're right. And make sure that you say what needs to be said and how you feel. The little teddy bear here holding the heart is like, you know, he's a representation of humility and, you know, I love you and I just, you know, I really love you. He's a cuddle buddy. So, you know, for some of y'all Aries too, your person may want to apologize. They may be just as stubborn as you. Especially if y'all dealing with another fire sign, a Sagittarius Leo. Woo, chap. I'm going to pray for y'all. Let's see. The one. <laughs> Aries, the one. The one. Um, but your person really is in love with you. They, you know, they, they make mistakes, Aries, but they really do love you with apologies. They really, they see you as the one. You the one, boo. Let's see. They're not perfect, like I said, but they do love you. They really do. Oh, look at that. Look at Aries. They really do love you. I'm so happy for y'all. What's going on? Cross watchers. Y'all take a message. Y'all may take a message from this. You may really, really love them, even though they're not, they make mistakes. You know, your Aries person may make some mistakes, but they, they really do love you. Spirit wants you to know that. Um, we have guarded and patient. Spirit, uh, Spirit saying, Aries, that you're going to have to be patient with your person because your person, sometimes they get a little bit defensive, especially when you have to talk about, um, you know, the hard topics in relationships. Could be kids, marriage, bills, whatever the case may be, vacation. Um, Spirit says to be, be careful because be patient because sometimes we all, we all tend to get a little bit defensive at times, a little bit, okay, a little bit defensive, but... You know, there is love there. The heart is here. There's love there. We have jaded. Sometimes y'all might feel jaded in this relationship. Like, you know, you're the one that's putting in all the work or doing all of this and all of that. Don't let the devil creep in your relationship, Aries. Don't let those negative thoughts get the best of you. Or your person may feel that way sometimes. They feel like it's all about you, Aries. So Spirit's message to you, you all who are watching this, all my viewers, subscribers, Aries, is to one be patient but two you know make sure that things are balanced between the both of you that your person is not the only person making compromises or you're not the only person making compromises because it needs to go both ways in order for there to be balance we have soul vibes we have soul vibes you guys are connected on a deep soul level aries you and your person let's see we have washed up washed up i feel like for with washed up this person may have came to you guys may have met each other let me know down in the comments how you met your person aries if you're watching this video let me know because i'm curious i love love stories but i feel like this person may have met you like in the most unusual way out of the blue out of the blue out of the blue let's see we have hope. Spirit wants you to be positive because, look, there's a heart there, Aries. There's so much love. 
between you and this person. They really do love you. And they really, they really want the best for this connection, Aries. They really do. Cross watchers, they want the best for y'all's connection. Um, they feel like this relationship came up out of nowhere. We have new journey ahead. Yes, yeah, some of you may have um, recently had a child or may be expecting or may be planning a wedding, Aries. Congratulations to either of those things. If this is you, if this applies to your situation. Um, or if this is just a new connection, you guys are starting out. Spirit, again, wants you to be patient. We know that you may be a little bit guarded, but Spirit is saying do some purging. Um, you know, do a little bit of uncrossing work. Do some work that's going to help you purge and release um, certain negative emotions and trust issues and doubts and fears that you carry. Um, some of you guys really struggle, Aries, and I've said this before, with depression. Hey, Aries, welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is a continuation of, this is like part two of your reading <laughs> that I did last week, Aries, but I didn't get to post. So my apologies. I love you guys. I've just been extremely tired. So posting readings have kind of been on my you know my last to do list so um but this is about love and relationships because i've already done the readings for the month for finances and whatnot so go back and check those readings out if you have not watched them all right so hopping in your end of the month reading because i would say mid-month but it's the end of the month so we ain't even gonna go there all right spirit universe what messages do you have for the sign of aries in regards to love for the end of september going into october please keep in mind my aries babies that we are in we are entering retrograde so think before you speak think before you act aries because we know that y'all tend to choose violence you know and sometimes violence is necessary but during retrograde you want to slow that you want to slow that down all right you want to stop and think because you end up doing something that you regret later all right, but we we're, we're going to pick right back up where we left off. I hate the purge card for you guys because like I said before, and I've said this in many of, of my older readings, that I know some of you guys really do struggle with depression and um, it pops its ugly head at times. So Aries, I'm sending out my love to you. If you struggle with mental illness or, you know, the forms of depression or anything, make sure that you get the help that you need. Okay, make sure that you surround yourself by loving and supportive people. Your relationships are loving and supportive, supportive because you need people who are going to help push you forward in a positive way. All right. But also, um, I felt when I was picking up y'all's energy last week that whoever you're dealing with, and this is for those of you who are dealing with someone, that the person really does love you guys. Cross watchers, if you're watching, you may get a message. Yeah. Red light, pause. Red light pause. Yes, yeah, Spirit wants you guys to really pay attention, Aries, to your actions, to your person's actions um, before you respond. Give yourself time to think. If they say something that pisses you off or upsets you, give yourself time to think. Some of you may actually need to pause your relationship if it's becoming too much on you. Like I said, for those of you who struggle with depression and things of that nature, sometimes you need to take a step back. It doesn't mean that you're like, officially breaking up with a person but you're giving yourself the time and space you need to work on you all right there we go we got locked up <laughs> locked up so some of you guys have because when i'm looking at this i'm thinking there's a key and it's a heart someone has the key to your heart but y'all sometimes are afraid to open up and express how you feel aries you got to come out of this. You got to come out of this, this mindset. If you want love, you have to be willing to open up and be vulnerable to your partner. Period. You can't always bottle up your emotions and then get upset when somebody doesn't know what you're feeling or thinking and just assume that they automatically know. You've got to communicate. You've got to let them know. Look, new journey ahead. This is beautiful because I believe this came up in the first reading as well. So just know that you and your person are on the right track. This is a new relationship for a lot of you guys, or even if you've been together for a little while, um, there are new things coming ahead in your relationship. Some of you may be planning on moving in together or starting a family or, or getting married or taking your connection to a higher level of commitment. That's what Spirit wants you to know. Let me just move this over a little bit. There we go. Aries, y'all are the first sign I got done. 
before the week started. So yay, full moon is an Aries. <laughs> All right, growth and abundance. That's what spirit is saying in your relationship. Focus on the abundance. Focus on the beautiful blessings that you have in your relationship. If your person is loving and supportive, no, they may not be perfect, but neither are you, Aries. So if your person is supporting you and they're there for you when you need them and they're just really giving to the connection the way that they should and things are growing, continue. Continue to support your person. Continue to show them love and appreciation. That's what Spirit wants you to know. And for some of you, yes, there is going to be more growth, but you have to be patient. Um, also, I'm getting with the red light and pause that things may not be going moving as quickly as you would like, but keep in mind, um, especially if you're dealing with like an earth sign or a water sign Aries, for those of you who this applies, it will not resonate with everyone. But if you're dealing with either of those two signs, keep in mind that they tend to move a little bit slower sometimes because they want to make sure that, um, you know, this is what they really want. So be patient because Spirit is saying that there is an opportunity for growth and abundance here. All right. Oops. Soul vibes. Again, this came up in the last reading. You guys are very, very divinely connected. Beautiful reading. Guarded. Patient. Yep, this came up. So be patient because your person may be guarded. You may be guarded. Cross watchers, if you're dealing with an Aries, just know that they are guarded. And it's going to take them some time to open up to you. But you guys do have a strong soulmate uh, divine counterpart connection. Money can't buy love, but it sure in, in the hell is necessary. You've got to bring something to the table. They've got to bring something to the table. So if the person you're dealing with is not financially stable, Aries, knowing y'all, y'all probably gonna cut them loose, but give them some time to get their ish together. Let them know, hey, listen, I'm not going to be footing the bill for you every single time we go out to eat or go to a movie or go shopping or whatever the case may be. I'm not taking care of all the bills. It's, it shouldn't, the burden, the burden of responsibility shouldn't all be placed on one individual. Let them know straight up, Aries. It ain't happening. And no, everything's not about money. Like sometimes people think that, oh, well, you know, if you buy, buy me this thing or buy this or buy that, it's going to keep me around. No, you're going to have to do more than that. <clears throat> teamwork yep look teamwork makes the dream work you guys are going to have to work together especially if you guys have plans for the holidays coming up Aries. you and your person if you're wanting to you know spend money on christmas gifts or you know go out for thanksgiving planning to visit family that's going to take money you may have to prepare flights you may have to make sure you have enough gas money bringing a plate so you've got cooking to do like all of those things it takes money so whoever you're dealing with make sure that this person has the capacity to be financially stable point blank period all right cross watchers if you're watching same thing you dealing with a mama's boy or a daddy's girl they're gonna have to step up and be more responsible is what spirit is saying here because teamwork makes the dream work so that's been you guys um love reading for the collective of aries Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all right? Also, if you'd like to book an in-depth personal reading in regards to your situation or your relationship, go to my website, AquarianEmpressTarot.net. Um, I'm offering 30% off of my love readings, which is like, like what, 30, 30 something dollars, like 32, I think, something like that, maybe 40. Maybe closer to 40, but it's 30% off because the original price is 65. But if you're interested, go and hop on over there. Also, make sure you subscribe to my website because I only send really good discounts to those who have subscribed to my mailing list because I email every month to all of my clients. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the reading, like, share, and until next time, love you guys.